Whatever you think of today's election result, our new UK government will make major waves in NHS primary care. Promises to train thousands more GPs and guarantee patients a face-to-face -face appointment might sound great to patients, but how might they affect the profession? As even our patients are telling us that something needs to change, extra funding for the NHS is an unlikely option, at least not so early on in this Labour government. The economy is still on its knees and every other government sector is also vying for priority funding. For general practice, both in the short and long term, a simple unblocker will be the relaxation of the rules around the 1.4 billion R's funding. Rather than ring feints for employing non-GP clinical roles, it must be unlocked to enable local practices to hire the role that's right for them. And with so many unemployed GPs looking for work, we need an informed discussion about utilising the existing GP workforce intelligently, rather than the vote-winning grandiose solution of simply to train more GPs. We need to make far better use of the GPs we already have. Thanks for watching. For more insights, visit the NEHGP website now and look out for your email digest on Monday.